Okay, um, just been. Uh, uh, I was just talking about Bangladesh having a lower vibration, a lower vibration, or when I experience going to Bangladesh, a lower vibration than than London, which uh, it feels have a, uh, a high vibration. And a great course, I've got a Course in Miracles student in front of me who's just um, said the right thing. Uh, how much of that is me? Uh, how much of that is, is real? And uh, in truth, of course, there is no such thing as Bangladesh having negativity in absolute truth because God did not create uh, a negative country, negative people, negative levels of consciousness. And so that is all not real. Now, so what and to what extent is it real? Uh, what extent is it true that a country or person, a place or a situation could have a lower vibration? Well, the levels of consciousness in different countries with different people and different individuals is a reflection of, you could say, on, on simplistic terms, just belief systems. What belief systems has the individual still got held on within the ego? And uh, an, a belief system is by by definition a, a limit to the infinite, to the infinite presence that's here right now. Every single belief system is creating a limit if it's identified and held within the ego, creates, um, and each belief system creates susceptibility to the illusion or susceptibility to that belief system. Uh, let me give you an example. and Let's talk about countries or places having low vibrations. Well, there is no such thing in truth. But however, if an individual hasn't cleared their inner belief systems around a certain location or a certain individual, then uh, they are susceptible when they're in front of that individual or in, in that country to feeling disconnected. So, in truth, does the country or the individual, or even one's own ego, well, uh, it's to the extent that one is identified with belief systems within one's own ego, that creates the, uh, the effect of a certain, um, like a, an example might be, um, this individual is really heavy, or this country is really heavy. Well, in truth, no country, uh, if, if one is enlightened, one is in the infinite presence, in the timeless stillness, out of all belief systems and all thoughts, and there is no such thing. I mean, there, no person, place or situation can create a disconnect from the infinite. However, if there is a belief system, either consciously or unconsciously, often this is unconscious, then that suddenly comes to light and one feels disconnected when in front of an individual. So how do you do that? In terms of the Course in Miracles, I mean, you've got lessons like everything around me is meaningless, this country is meaningless, this person is meaningless, my thoughts about this country are meaningless, or I pray for a miracle to see this country differently, to see my uh, judgments differently, or uh, God did not create low vibrations in individuals, and so it's not real. God did not create the ability for me to be disconnected by an individual, person, or place, or situation. So that is not real. So in that way, um, uh, one is deleting the idea that in anything external or internal, whether it be a belief system or external, country, place, or situation, can disconnect one from the infinite, from the, the timeless stillness. So it's just a, a thing of clearing. So in absolute truth, there is no, there is no thought. So why then is it that some individuals will moan that a person or a place or a situation seems to be heavy? Well, the person, place or situation is not heavy or has the power to disconnect one from the infinite or the presence or the truth or the whole. In terms of the Course in Miracles, it would be the holy instant. So the holy instant is when, uh, in the instant, it's recognized that everything is holy, there is only one, there is no separation, uh, there, there can never be a disconnect. Uh, and so what that means in practicality is that no belief systems within the ego or the ego is totally transcended and there are no more belief systems left within the individual's ego, that's enlightenment and therefore no person, place or situation can ever again for all of eternity disconnect one from the infinite presence. or. Um, or uh, that's one thing. Or if there are belief systems, 
Now there's another thing with uh, on another level, and this is all within the illusion, because in absolute truth there is no such thing as anything that can disconnect one. Uh, within the illusion, if one, which I, I subscribe to, uh, and have seen uh, past lives, so then it's like certain countries, places, or situations, even if you're seem to have done a lot of spiritual work, these individuals, places, situations seem to have the capacity to make one feel disconnected. And I'd say that even though you don't know why, that could be due to either this lifetime or past lifetimes, a lot of baggage would suddenly get triggered, this karma suddenly comes act becomes activated with certain individuals, places, situations. Now is that real? I mean, is that real? Well, on a certain level it's not real, but you have to transcend the belief systems or the karmic baggage within oneself for it not to have any effect. So that's typical in spiritual work where you'll do spiritual work on a particular place or situation and uh, and then uh, at a certain point one becomes immune to that person, place or situation ever being able to disconnect one. In the intermediate stage it can be like certain countries and places only disconnect you in certain situations and become less disconnecting or generally as you do the also you can have uh, patches of good karma meaning that suddenly there's illumination and all your unconscious belief systems for a temporary period get very subdued and one is in the infinite presence so one can suddenly feel blissed out for no reason whatsoever for a few days but then there is still stuff left in the ego and eventually those situations re-hook you back in. Whereas you've had this great period of several days or weeks where one is in the timeless flow. So that can also happen and also... So that can be a positive and one can see in those timeless flows when one has those almost like bulletproof flow presence that there's nothing, everything just happens in a spontaneous flow, there is no person place and it's like everything effortlessly happens, even if you know it's like a bomb goes off in front of one, it still doesn't disturb the bliss uh, people are screaming and shouting, still no problem, uh, uh, one is still in bliss and then uh, if, if the ego gets reactivated or that period of that infinite this uh, one starts getting rehooked into the world or one's inner baggage. So does the external world have any power? Well, the external world doesn't have any power to disconnect. So there is no person there. But one's internal belief systems, if one is identified with them, seemingly uh, with the identification, like this person is disconnecting me, that's an internal belief that's creating that. And it's the identification with the internal belief and still having that belief and not having transcended or done the spiritual work to release that, that creates the illusion that one can be disconnected. But in absolute truth, one is never disconnected because that presence is always here. It's actually, on a certain level, you could say it's just the... Because that belief system hasn't been transcended, there is still an option to identify and hook into that thought or belief that a person, place, or situation can disconnect one. Of course, if there is no... If the ego is fully, uh, if the one is enlightened, i.e. there's no belief system left, then of course there'll just be eternal flow and bliss and stillness in every moment. It'll be ludicrous to say that there is such a thing.